means we need to have love. Without love, you cannot show mercy. And that is the eternal character of God, mercy. And that is love. So we cannot claim, St. John tells us, to love God when we do not have love. So love should be a way of life. Love should be that which, that which motivates, motivates us to do the extraordinary in the eyes of God. And so when we have love in us, then we care for the other person. Then we stand for the other person. Then we can don't extend our hands to help others. But if there is no love, we cannot. And that is what Luke is calling us to. Be compassionate, be merciful. Be loving just as your heavenly father is loving. And that is the true way of life of a faithful child of God. Every child of God must be a child of love. Every child of God must be a child that is concerned about your neighbor. And Jesus tells us there is no commandment greater than the love of God and the love of neighbor. And that is, that is what should transform us. That is what should bring us closer to God. And so when we are filled with love, then we cannot judge. We cannot condemn. All that we give out is love. We admonish. We correct. But we cannot be judgmental. We cannot condemn. Because we do not have the power. It's God that has the power to condemn. God that has the power to judge. All that we have is to care, to correct, to lead people to understand the will of God. And that is done based in love. So we are calling this season to re rediscover ourselves in God. And then to begin to walk the ways of God. And that is what the prophets are calling us to to open ourselves, open our hearts to God so that that love will flow from us and then begin to affect people that are around us. For we need to transform the situation we find ourselves. We need to transform the community that we find ourselves. But that is only possible when we begin to encounter the love of God. And he calls us to be holy, just as he is holy. He calls us to be righteous, just as he is righteous. And all that will come about when we accept the infinite love of God. So he tells us because we have opened ourselves to doing that which the love calls us to do, our reward is not based on any earthly thing, but on God himself. And that is why Luke tells us the same measure that is pressed down, shaken, is the same measure that is given back to us when we begin to do the extraordinary based on love, not judging people, then God begins to reward us in an extraordinary way, in an extraordinary manner. And that is the true way of life that Christ come to show us. He has come to show us this particular way of life, a way of life that many people in this world cannot see, but for those who believe in him, he has given the opportunity to see. So let us continue to reflect on this wonderful way of life that Jesus has come to show us. It is an eternal way of life. It is a kingdom way of life, God's own kingdom, eternity. So we are called to that and not to, not to any other way of life. So the season we find ourselves, the season of Lent, calls us to that reminds us of that and so we need to remember and then embrace this way of life it could be a challenging one sometimes but despite the fact that it is challenging we cannot say we can't walk this way of life we cannot say we can't live this way of life it is an obligation and a burden that has been laid in our hearts and so we need to accomplish it for that measure which comes from god to be given out to us so let us continue to pray that this season of grace will indeed transform us, will indeed, indeed open us to that great love which comes from God, so that the men and the women around us will also experience this infinite love of God and salvation will come their way. So we pray that God, who has called us and who has given us this opportunity to reflect on his word and to come back to his word, will grant us the abundant grace so that we cooperate with that grace and do his will here on earth. 
so that his plan and design for the world will come to pass in Jesus Christ, who is Lord forever and ever. Hello, good evening, and welcome to another edition of the Women's Magazine, a program that empowers people with information vital to achieve their development targets. In tonight's program, the Gambia will join the rest of the world to celebrate International Women's Day, a day 